Welcome back to another video. This one is going to be a revised team split guide for phases 3 and 5. We've had quite a few new abilities come into the game since the last time I did a team split guide and it does make a little bit of a difference. Um, so I thought I'd do a phase 3 um, guide of what to do and what the best ability rotation to use is. So for phase 3 you basically, obviously you've got the first team split that spawns. You then do your threshes out including a corruption and a dragon breath. You then have Reflect where you use Shards and Anticipate and then you've got to Detonate and straight back into a Dragon Breath. After that you then do your normal Meta Rotation and it's really important that you get the tag on Virago as you'll see me do here. In this clip I actually end up being MD because I don't want to move in case I, get, if I, in case I miss the tag as I move. But it doesn't make a difference whether you are MD or not, it's just where the Team Split box spawns. The reason it's really important you get the tag is it means you can do a deep impact. As you see in this clip, I get a really nice one. I think I crit it an 8k or something. You get the deep impact one tick before your meta runs out and then you have one more basic ability before it's team split again. And then after that, you just do the same original thresh rotation out. So while magic, deep breath, I actually concentrated blast, but you can use corruption here and then it's fixed again uh, for the second reflect. However, in this clip, we're a trio and we managed to get it straight away. That is somewhat rare, especially in a trio, it's one of the fastest ones uh, we've managed to do. But obviously if you do have another team split after that, or it's reflect and then another team split, and if you did have any more, you then just use threshers again to finish off the phase. But generally in a four man or a five man, you should be managing to get it before you have, to have that second reflect. Phase five, especially at the start, is quite similar to how you start off phase three in the fact that you have a team split straight away. You then use threshes. Uh, however, on this one, I actually use a vulnerability on the same tick, like one tick before I wild magic. But I, as you can see, the vulnerability hits. And then I use wild magic, debreath, asphyxiate, and then one basic. And according to how much stool you get, it's three blues and off. After that, you then want to do a normal sun rotation. As you can see here, my adrenaline pot is on cooldown for a couple of seconds, so it means I can't fire my wild magic instantly, but it makes almost no difference. You then, as I say, do a normal sun rotation, and the only real problem with my DPS on this clip is the fact that I do throw my second wild magic when really, because it's done the third blue before the other team split, I should have held it until the second, until after the team split to fire it then out and use at the same rotation as I do on the first team split of this phase which is Wild Magic, Dragon Breath is Fix and then to finish it off. In this it's actually quite clutch, uh, we do sort of maul it right as it's on on reflect but again we get it in one push so that's nice. And that's pretty much it for phase 5 as well. Um, if you do again have the reflect then just re-sun and you should be able to maul it on the Vokes it'd be quite odd if you didn't obviously just keep DPSing, improvise using Threshers and Sun uh, if you are struggling but you should be fine especially if you're in a 5 man. As always I hope this guide was useful and please leave any comments, questions, queries in down below and I hope to see you guys in the next one.